podcast to y'all. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome Technical back. difficulties. Welcome back, Martin. Tech. Oh, are we ready? Yeah, oh, I, I think we're going. I don't know. Well, oh, I didn't there's know. been so many technical difficulties today that we don't know how to even explain the good stuff that happened. We're only 35 minutes behind when we were supposed to start, so it's no. not that bad. We had a good time, though. Welcome back. What else would I be doing? What we played the bongos. We mm -hmm. explored Phil McMillan's vast playlist of weirdness thank you what? of purchase songs of purchase songs <laughs> which i'm sure all the artists are forever grateful because they got a cut of their 99 cents when like, did yeah. when when was the last time you bought a song you're like you know what that's that's a buyer not a <laughs> not a streamer he has no streaming <laughs> do you not have like the hey just pay this a month and you can listen to whatever you I want i don't but all my kids do and they try to get me on it and i'm like uh, -uh I, I got the songs i want yeah. i don't need no more it's, nothing new i will it. say it's a very eclectic no sample of it, music oh, from the 70s it. 80s it and is. 90s and not only mine which includes a lot of yacht rock but size got all his old country on there too yep. yeah philip philip the kind of guy that wear a flower shirt with his hamburger meat hanging out that's what i just discovered i mean i've never seen that from him but you know. um what is yacht rock can you exactly what i'm talking about old man i don't know why i don't know how you don't smoke cigars are you a big jimmy buffett kind of guy there it is <laughs> phillips in a hot tub with his hamburger made out in a cigar okay. there it is also hey, what is hey, what hey, we got hey, hamburger hey, meat hanging out and that is cigar. tripping me out what is that chest <laughs> air oh, oh chest. Hey, i don't know man that. we actually stopped at a cigar store store true Okay, and it was closed on us. Yeah. Were you going to get you one? The 7-Eleven right, yeah, was, was closed? For, he was going to get something for his son. Mm -hmm. Oh. Bryce likes them. Oh, yeah. Bryce likes yeah. cigars. I like to smell them. Yeah. They got black piles when... on every oh, corner no. in West Monroe. You couldn't well, find one that was open? No, that's nasty. Hey. <laughs> no. Yes, these, these were, that is nasty. These were homemade, though. Homemade? Oh, yeah. So we took a trip to Oklahoma. Yeah. Land of the homemade then. cigars? Hey, my Land of oil. My old homemade cigars look different now. And man, there's, man, a lot of, doing. there's a lot of Indian reservations. And a lot of Indians. And a lot of Indians. Native Americans. That makes Native sense. Native Americans. It's, it's their land. <laughs> and there's a lot of that there. Ah. Uh, but we had a good time. Yes. Wait, we did. oh yeah, that's With why we're friend. filming today, because y'all were y'all just got out of town. Yeah. We did. Did y'all yeah. listen to that playlist the whole way? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. That actually, his playlist is long enough to take you to Oklahoma and back. That's right. <laughs> Look, and I'm you don't have to listen. Well, he does have multiple versions of the same song, but you would not have to listen to the same version of the oh, same hey, song. Oh, hey, that was a good one because we played the one about the hurricane. Oh, yeah. That comes around every June. And yep. we, had, oh. <laughs> we had, oh, no, no, look, and we got both. Both versions. How do you know what that is? Huh? You don't know that song? <laughs> the band. You know, I thought I was band born on the uh, in the rain when on I the poncho train. In the rain on the poncho train. Band of heathens, yeah. Underneath the loose. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Under yeah. Loose, 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 yeah. When uh, you hey. said hurricane, I was well, hey. rock me like a hurricane. But oh, uh, uh, either the way, best version, minor league hockey. The best music. version is the men singing it, but they did have three good-looking chicks that sang it. How do they you know bad. that they were good-looking if you were listening to hey, the radio? They had, hey, when it come up, they were singing. They had pictures of them. Okay, now, yeah, hey, yeah. it was very easy on the eyes. Oh, here we go. But you know, hey, we I like the I like the original <laughs> version. Better. But, oh, but, good thing right. your eyes work because nothing else does. Right, you know, hey, that's it, right? <laughs> but for all the grief I would give that that playlist that I just heard, all the names of the songs and half Wait the songs. Wait a grief. That that oh. is a road trip playlist oh. for sure. Keep, that keeps you happy. Or yeah. an, or you just need to be on an island for about seven days and nothing to do. Oh. You're gonna listen to Phil's music. Well, out of it's, Kenny Chesney. Because what's oh, wild is that. you'll listen. We got it. Yeah, you'll listen to oh, that, yeah. and then all of a sudden, here comes Tupac. Yeah, and Midnight and Star. Like, <laughs> you know, and Prince. So I yeah. like to listen to some Prince and, and ABBA and Black Eyed Peas. Oh, I mean, you hey. name it, we got it. But it's better to he listen knows the to words that. to all of them. And the yeah. crows. <laughs> and the crows. We listen. I'm gonna, to the crows. I want to see if crows. I can name something that should be on there that's not on there. Uh, go. And I feel like I need to have heard. Oh, it. I doubt that. If it's anything from 2000. Four till now. No, it ain't on. No, that. that's oh, right. no, no, for sure it's not. I'm trying to think. LL Cool J. Got it. Yeah, he's which on. song? Got I don't him. remember, but he a lot mama, of said them. Knock you out. Oh, it. mama said knock you out. It's a jam. Yeah. <laughs> um, Super Tramp. What song is it? Disco Inferno or something like oh, that. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That. If it's hair, if, if there's if there's hair involved, it's on there. Do, 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 <laughs> Anything from like a Disney movie at the beginning is on that for sure. 
Probably so, yeah. <laughs> but but look, here's the reason why I need it because when me and Sire are going somewhere, flying a lot, he uh, he likes to listen to it with the headphones on. I get yeah, I get and, bored easy. Yeah, it ain't like and he doesn't have Sirius XM on his on his truck, so we have to plug in the the phone. But I, I've realized one sign one thing about all my travels. Mm-hmm. Yo. Know, there's a bunch of people out there that need to get to go to Walmart and get them a personality. Uh oh. Cause get they all get shook up hearing me sing. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Well, it's not Is so Lovely much a... Day by Bill Withers on there? Got it. Got it. <laughs> lovely oh, yeah. day. Got lovely it. day. A lovely day. Si, you probably heard that on the way to Oklahoma. <laughs> shit, we heard that. I'm just going Oklahoma. through songs I've recently listened to. I was thinking of Disco Inferno by the Tramps, by the way. <laughs> dun, 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 Is dun, Funky dun, Town dun, dun, on there? I don't know. Funky Town. Oh, I mean, we can't play it on here, but for seven seconds, but. Yeah, I mean, that's right. the greatest right. song in the history one of, of the man. One of the man, are they? One of the main ones on there is the Gap Band. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he got a song from Gap with Band the, I ain't never right, heard of. With the longest playing time I think there ever is. It 13 is minutes and like 33 seconds. That's the Gap Band. This will be the test. Though. Right, when you think I've got the test. To run out. Free Bird? No. Oh, oh you know that's on <laughs> Neon Moon. Yeah. By Brooks and Dunn. Is that a song? Hey. Man confirm. Man confirm. I saw the oh, album yeah. cover Brooks and Dunn's greatest hit. So we, Neon we, Moon is there. We listened to that twice. Oh, hey. no, we listened, we listened that you know, I drove times. home last night and I said, I don't, uh, for some reason, George Strait just came on my phone. I didn't do it, but I was like, I'm not mad about this. And then I was like, while I was getting gas, I was like, I really want to listen to Neon Moon. So I got gas and listened Neon to Neon Moon. The rest Moon. Of you got a table. Way in the back. Table for two. Way in the so, back. Way in the back. Bro. That actually was talking about Stowe's in, in Ruston, Louisiana. Yep. I have no idea. When he wrote that song. Oh. It's a good song. Yeah. Old Kicks Brooks. <laughs> Brooks and Dunn's awesome. Oh, no. Oh, they they are. are. We actually went to see Brooks and Dunn and Reba. Reba. Oh, here we go. Uh, Caesar's <laughs> Palace in Vegas. Buckle up, everybody. Okay. Oh, Ann's no. got a type. Oh, no, no, no. It. <laughs> and, hey, it was cool. <laughs> it was cool. Because when we was in the green room and met him, you know, I walked up to Reba. You know, I said, Reba, <laughs> I said, me, me and, and my, my wife, wife already made, made a, a deal. deal. Made a deal. deal. You and she said, <laughs> she said, well, what's that? Because I had on my sparkly <laughs> jacket and my, my cowboy hat, my cowboy boots. She said, what's, what's that, that, cowboy? cowboy? <laughs> and I said, hey. I said we made a deal. I said I get you, you and, and she, she gets, gets Ronnie. Ronnie and you ain't got nothing about it. She said, Well give me a big old hug and come on. I said, You got it, you good looking heifer. That's true. But the thing we about that's true, true, but hey, the thing oh, no, about that was cool. people were lined up and 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 hearing and talking and to sign and getting stories in the re- and everybody else was on the other side like, What's going on here? You know, so that was that was pretty interesting. So you wait. Who's Chris, Christine's got like Patrick Swayze or somebody? Ronnie Dunn. No, Ronnie oh, Dunn. Okay, I missed that. She loves Kicks and Brooks. Kicks and Brooks. Kicks and Brooks. That's right. And Kicks oh, and hey, Brooks. Ronnie Dunn. Oh, who, <laughs> yo, she loves Ronnie. That's okay. funny. Unbelievable. That mullet was good looking. She got a type too. Yeah. I know. Ray, I'm still thinking about Ray before. Yeah. Oh, wow. good grief. <laughs> That's why you got that smile on your face. Oh, yeah. Oh, me and Allison don't have no yeah. deals. I don't think that would work for me. Mm-hmm. Oh, I yeah. do have a celebrity crush. Who? Oh, a who? No, they tell had me. A, they had a, No, the Pioneer oh. Woman. Oh. They had a fabulous show. We Wait. had a great time. I'll either marry her or she can adopt me, and I'm cool. Oh. <laughs> hey, we went right through there. I'll, we, then we I'll went. say that you don't have a type. <laughs> I type women that can cook good, son. <laughs> Cy, si, where was that Pawnee that we were in? Yeah, that's where she's at. Yep. I'm making a trip one day. You should. And I'm going to stand in line to meet. I'm going I'm to be there, and I'm going to feel like all the people I used to look at standing outside our office, and I'm just going to be standing outside the Pioneer Woman's uh, restaurant. Hey, take Cy si with you because she came up to the table where we were sitting and hugged Cy. Si. It's a good deal to take Cy. Si. Yeah. Cy, si, you want to just drive to Oklahoma again? All right, why not? <laughs> it's only about eight hours. Right, why not? But our buddy Tank, and we've talked about Tank before. If you, you know, our buddy Tank had a birthday, so we had a big birthday celebration. Sang and cookout. happy birthday! Sang happy birthday! His name is Tank. Tank. His name's Tank. You want to yeah. be on his good side? He's about as tall as that door right there. Yeah. And he's about four hundred. Why they call him Tank? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> hey, but he's awesome. Him and him and his wife. No, if you got a daughter, door lock, if you got a door lock, just call Tank. Just come on. So lock. he's the size of a refrigerator. He's right. a big boy. Ah. 
But he dances good. He's a great dancer. Where him did we his, meet him? <laughs> him and his daughter. We went through a lot of things, and, and him and I love the way he interacts with his daughter. Uh, when you see a dad and daughter dancing and having a great time, I, I always like that kind of stuff. So y'all always get new friends, and I have no idea where they came from, and now we're just driving to Oklahoma to hang out with Tank? Well, I, well we've been oh, friends a long time. Okay. I, I just got, hadn't heard about it. we got a yeah, lot yeah. of friends everywhere. Y'all got a lot of friends in Oklahoma is what y'all We got a lot of friends in Mississippi, too. Oh, by the way, let me tell you about this. This is exciting. So I got a phone call before we started the podcast, and... You know, we're doing something for the Homes of Hope. It's like the ninth or 10th annual Uncle Si skeet shoot, okay? So the guy calls me and says, you know, uh, I'm going to have a special guest for Si to meet. It's George and Tammy's daughter, Georgette. Georgette. Who's going who's gonna to meet you at the event and uh, hang George out. George Jones? Daughter? And I get a big hug from her. Hey. Yeah. And he stopped loving her today? Hey, that's right. He stopped, he stopped loving, loving her. Today. Hey, I ain't never stopped loving them. Oh, we know. Amen, that. buddy. Here he goes. Take Just a break you, before yeah, you love yeah, too much. Yeah, Martin, hurry, hurry, get to a commercial. Break, break, break. break. <laughs> yeah. We'll be back. Did you have an oatmeal subscription? I did. I didn't know Wait, about it. Wait, time out. What? I bought, I, I was trying a new breakfast to help me lose weight. And yeah. I bought it for like, it was like 16 of them. It was like, that'll last you a few weeks. Next thing I know, my wife's like, hey. Why'd you get more of this? And I was like, I didn't. Mm. Apparently, I signed up for a subscription. You got, uh -oh. you got, but got. I immediately, once I realized Rocket Money, bump, bump, boom, they gone already. So no more oatmeal? Uh, yeah, no. I, did, mm. I, I, I only try so much breakfast. <laughs> and they got me with a subscription. Sometimes you're signing up for subscriptions and you don't even know it. You and Rocket about Money it. will let you know, oh, hey, Bubba, you keep getting in this. Very easy. Uh, that was the best part. I canceled it before I was off my front porch. Just went to Rocket Money app. Boom. I'm done with them. Well, I can honestly say we've been reading Rocket Money ads a long time, and I never had on the horizon John David Cancel's oatmeal subscription. <laughs> yep, I did it. Hey, you're saving money. But, you know, that's more so this podcast in a nutshell. Also, do any of you guys want some oatmeal? <laughs> no. no. Okay. Most people have subscriptions that they don't know about. Yep. You never know if anything can be a subscription these days. You know, subscriptions you forget about. You wanted to watch the one show. You wanted to watch the one game. You wanted to watch the one this, whatever it is. And then you forget about it because life gets busy and it don't hit you for 30 more days. Bop. That's where our friends Rocket Money come into play. They let you know, hey, this is coming out. Do you still want to do this? Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscription, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills. You can see all your subscriptions in one place. And if we see something we don't want, cancel it. Just one tap, never have to get on phone with customer service, do all the legwork, and they can even try to get you a refund for the last couple of months of wasted money and negotiate to lower your bills for you by up to 20%. All you have to do is take a picture of your bill, and Rocket Money will take care of the rest. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over $500 million in canceled subscription. $720 is awesome. That's big time. I mean, that's, that's, that's a house note for a lot of people couple of car notes for people. So if they're saving you that much money, that's that's a big deal. You can do it too. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash duck. That's rocketmoney.com slash duck. One more time. Rocketmoney.com slash duck. When, when Martin puts his eyeball on the mic, I know there's something wrong. No, that's no. just when it's yeah. It's, when that's Martin when does, I ain't got to say nothing. I just sit here. And, when Martin does that, it's when we have a chance to go quasi viral because size is going to get us canceled. Yeah, that's when I peer up and I start feeling there may be an issue. <laughs> I'm like, oh, how are we going to save this one? Oh boy! Hey, all right, but we're back. Are I don't we? even know what we're going to talk about, but that's nothing new. Um, <laughs> <laughs> What else? Oh, why you laugh? <laughs> We've talked about the the road trip to Oklahoma and back. What happened? So you just went to a dance with Tank? Yeah, yeah. We went to a birthday celebration with our buddy. So so I still private, doing birthday parties. That's cool. At a private ranch. Oh yeah, it was a private ranch. And so this is the ranch where we drove around and saw fallow deer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, were you an invite cool or were you the entertainment? Invite. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, some people get I, I'm both. Some rich people like hire the rock and some people no, hire no, oh, I'm both. I'm a good friend, but I am also. <laughs> Let me try. The entertainment. Because <laughs> I, I keep them laughing. 
Okay. Well, that is true. Y'all play, I, and I'm good at it. Did y'all play poker or dominoes uh, yep. or anything? Oh, hey, hey, we always, hey, he knows you so hey, well. He said, I'm not dumb. Do, I'm do playing. you know the answer here? We played dominoes. Uh, yeah. Okay. And what? I think I won twice and he won. Did you win one? Yes. Okay. Uh, well, I couldn't remember. Aren't you on team? I won twice and then we got to the poker mm, game and I one. won again. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. How much money hey, did you win? Uh, I won si. $700. Size si undefeated. I'm in undefeated Oklahoma. in Oklahoma. Oh, Actually, that's a good thing. I've, I've never lost there. Because you're unwinfeated in this state. Oh, I don't hear that. Yeah. Uh, I've won my share here, too. <laughs> that time we were on a plane and playing poker, the only time he was winning was when we were above Oklahoma. Oh, no. No, no. The best one on that was. Problem okay. was, that was early and I was broke. Hey, we're fixing the land. Oh, yeah. They were on there. Y'all, y'all were hey, on that. It, that was one of the funnest three hours of my life. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. uh, we yeah. were landing, and Willie said, hey, don't nobody move. And the, <laughs> the pilot was fixed to open the door, and he said, hey, don't open that door. Because <laughs> we've got the hand, and we got all the money in the pot. That's a true story. You know? And look, I said, well, I said, you made the bet, the last bet. I call you with everything I got. I said, you know, what have you got? Well, hey, he knew I had him beat, so he had. <laughs> Uh, conveniently said, where's my cards? Mm -hmm. I said, I don't know, but I said, guess what? I said, I've got my two that go to five on the board. And I said, I got the stone cold nut queen high straight. <laughs> All of it. All of it. And I said, hey, by the way, pilot, go ahead and open the door because this trip is over. I done cook all these clowns money. Yeah, I know. You took you took money from the poor folks, me and John Day. Yeah. Oh, no. I my money was the, in there, too. Yeah. Yeah. I also yeah. robbed he took the everybody's rich. money. I also robbed the rich and gave to the poor. Yeah, but you robbed You're way more silly. poor than you did rich. That's not true. He took way more from Willie, <laughs> but the percentage was different. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. Because after about 50 bucks, I was like, eh, Yeah, our right. percentage of net income was way different on that trip. <laughs> the only two left with money were you and you and Willie. Oh, yeah. They just kept broke. that until we were out. Oh, yeah. yeah. I we couldn't afford Quit. Yeah, I, I didn't have much cash on. The funniest part of that trip was when we all walked into the bathroom. <laughs> okay, boys. Okay, <laughs> and that was in Denver, Colorado. Yeah, we have. Well, hey, I'm now. I'm in the back, okay, because all the stalls were full <laughs> by us, because we faster than you. Oh yeah, <laughs> hey, I'm in the back, okay, and all of a sudden I'm in a new bathroom. I have no idea, and the lights go out, and someone I've said you. There is not a, it ain't no, it's dark, dark, dark. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You made Hunter Pier up there, buddy. No, no, I literally, it took me 15 minutes to find my way out of it by going against the wall. I'm aware. We stood in there while they was fueling no. up the plane and laughing the whole time waiting on you to come out. I got an ice cream. The sandwich. under <laughs> over was 15 minutes. Oh, no, minutes. it took me 15 minutes to find my way out. I felt like a mime was trapped, yo. A mime? A mime. A mime or a yeah. mine? A mime. Isn't it? Yeah. You're yeah, that's right. it like there's a wall. Yeah. The, uh, All the difference is you ain't ever not talked. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's all I said, oh, I don't know if I'm going to ever get out of here. Okay, boy. I do miss. <laughs> Willie was outside just dying laughing. Yeah, we all were. That was a good time. <laughs> we were on. The Spokane, Washington State Fair. <laughs> Man, it was good. Man, times were wild. People used to book us to come to places. <laughs> Oh, oh, I was watching. We, we that was on a Sunday too, mm -hmm. and I woke up and went to the bar next to the hotel and was watching the Saints game at ten a.m. Yeah, I was like, this place is weird. Yeah, I remember texting you. You said, "I'm across the street watching the game." I was like, nah, "I'm in bed, bro." Thank you, sorry, <laughs> like I ain't doing that. That was a weird group, was it? Me, you, it's us three. I think it was everybody. John Luke, John Luke, yeah. John Godwin, Godwin, I think and that's Willie. It. Yeah. Yeah, what a, a good time. What an eclectic. Yeah. yeah, oh, that's what it was because they had Willie and Sadie and John Luke booked. <laughs> and me and Godwin got booked for like Sadie or Saga. I, we were a swap out. It, some had to that. be swapped out until yeah. we sent the farm. Yeah, we sent everybody. <laughs> it was like, we're all coming. How many seats you got on that plane? Let's go. Yeah, everybody went. And had to stop because we flew around wildfires or something for fuel twice or something weird. Oh, when we stopped to to fuel up, I left my phone somewhere. That's Denver. true. Airport, too. yeah, Denver, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we six. stopped Denver both times, uh, going there and coming back. Yeah, we flew into Denver and I couldn't <laughs> remember my oh. phone. Wow, there you go. Call song. I miss other people paying for me to fly on private planes. <laughs> 
I don't, <laughs> Those were fun times. I don't miss not having my status, though, because I lost. <laughs> we fly so much for work that, man, you, you get spoiled by getting upgraded all the time. Then you go on that little run we went on. and I mean, it's nice pulling out to the tarmac, getting your truck washed and everything. But I, you know. I haven't been on a plane in probably two or three years. But so. you're going back on one, right? I mean. Ever since you gave up your personal assistant job? Yeah. Uh, tackle shop employees don't need a lot of flight time. <laughs> no, unless they're going to Disney. <laughs> I am going to, yep, we, that's the next flight I got. Me and all the children are going to uh, all Disney. All the children are going to Disney. You riding up front and putting them in the back? On the mine train? Yeah. No, I was talking about on the plane. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Nope. Uh, hey, Allison. I didn't know if you still had enough miles, you could upgrade to first class and uh, say, got, Allison, good luck. I got enough miles to get me and like two of the kids on that plane for free, but I'm about out of Willie, Willie Sky Miles, thanks to <laughs> Willie. I've used them sparingly over the time, but they're, they're not going up. No. No, dwindling. Mm -mm. Not a lot of Shiner oh, shows or cricket uh, uh, expos to go to and make any sense. Mm. Well, I I mean, I hate you're not here, but I do like the fact that you're at Tackle Shop. Because me and John David just like... We made a trade, boys. We completed like the best <laughs> redneck trade ever. I can't wait to hear this. So Johnny D needed some fishing baits that are like the hottest fishing bait in the country right now. The, the Crush City Freeloader. And it just so happens that I work with the fine folks over at Rapala, so I had a stash of them. He had a stash of them. Uh-oh. So I brought him. I now have a stash of them. I brought him about approximately 30 packages of Freeloaders. Six forty nine, And I'm getting a pair of sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> We're just swapping. Ooh, okay. We're just swapping. We're helping each other out. I need to be blocked from the sun, and he needed Freeloaders. That so. must be some good sunglasses. Well, I mean, I don't really care. I told him to pick. I said, whatever. I told him, I said, dealer's choice, whatever's a fair trade. I sent him 14 pictures of me modeling sunglasses. Yeah, he kept and he sending won't, me selfies. He won't pick one out. So then I get here. I'm like, what sunglasses did you want? And he's yeah. like, I just throw some. Just, so what, next time I'm just showing up with sunglasses on their mark. Whatever's a fair deal. What about the glasses, the sunglasses side used to wear? Which ones? The Battle, Battle Vision. Oh, Battle Lord. Vision. Hey, we wasn't sunglasses. We lost those, all of those. Those weren't Thank to God. help from the sun. No, those were to protect you from. In the truck. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> Yeah, You've got, got some still? still? I still got them in a truck. <laughs> yeah, he goes by a Dollar General every day. It's case, easy to pick up some sunglasses. Uh, is, that in case air soft, is that in case air soft war breaks up or something? Uh, yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> never, never. You never know when you're going to need your battle. I mean, <laughs> vision, boy. Battle you, vision. You wore those for like a month. I don't, I wouldn't take them off. And you were serious about hey, it. Well, no, no. They're, they made everything good and clear. That's when I was going blind. Yeah, that that's how you know a man going blind when he says chartreuse sunglasses make everything clear. Yeah. We got a problem. Hmm. Yeah. That's because yeah. they were chartreuse. They made everything good and clear. They did. And for twenty nine ninety nine plus tax oh, license hey, and hey, shipping got, and handling, all three oh, pairs. You can get one pair, but wait, there's more. You can get two more for free. And the all oh. new unreleased battle light. Like I mean, like <laughs> oh, no, that, that, you can't break them. Boy. Can't break them. Hey, twist them. Turn what them. time did you buy those at? Two a.m. or three a.m. Because it was clearly oh. on an infomercial. No, I don't. Want to I want to ask Christine because she's the one that purchased them. I'm sure. Of course she did. Well, they didn't call yeah. anybody because the phone them. still don't work. She ordered them on Amazon. Philip. Hey, what's happening? You know what? I do know people what. dropping like flies around me. Yeah, but not me because uh -huh. I've been supporting my immune system every <laughs> uh -huh. day for years with That's a little right. A G. One. That's right. And look, me and my wife have been drinking it and we love it and it's made us feel better. Look, we don't have the brain fog. It's like you're clear. You can think when you don't drink your AG1, you can you're tell. know it. And that's why I love it so much. Look, you know, we've been drinking AG1 for a while now. And today we got a special offer just for everybody so you can start optimizing your health. And it's that time of year you want to be in tip top shape for I don't even know how many years. It's been one scoop in the morning. Mixed in water, boom, shake it up, drink it. I prefer cold water. Yes. And that way it tastes better. That's because each serving of AG1 delivers my daily dose of vitamins, minerals, pre and probiotics, and more. It's a powerful, healthy habit, but that's also powerfully simple. Yeah. It's great for your gut health. That's poetry right there. Look, I decided to give it a try because all the healthy people I knew were drinking it. That's always a pretty good indication 
All the healthy people are doing it. I might want to jump on this train and see how it makes me feel. And it makes me feel great, feel more focused, more energy. Don't get the sniffles near as much because I'm getting all my vitamins and minerals. With AG1, I know I'm getting a quality product. AG1's ingredients are sourced for nutrient density, absorption, and potency. And every batch goes through rigorous testing. I drink my IG1 first thing in the morning, so I'm getting optimal nutrition absorption. I just fill up my bottle with cold water and a scoop of AG1 and shake it up. It's that easy. Or when I'm in a rush, I just grab a travel pack. Travel pack. And mix it up on the go. If there's one supplement you should start with, it's AG1, and that's why we've partnered with them for so long. So if you want to take ownership over your health, start with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and for a limited time, you'll get 10 that's more than we used to say. Wow, that used to be ten five. free travel packs, and yes, that's ten free travel packs with your first purchase at drinkag1.com/duck. That's drinkag1.com/duck. Check it out while this offer lasts. Order it today. Yeah, why does your phone not work? I don't know. She I got look. I've my got an woman, idea. My woman had been working on that for like three to five days. And hey, she told me the other day she said to go out and have a doctor for She said, Oh, by the way, the phone man's coming. And, and you know, she she no, she just said, Hey, you need to talk to the phone man. The phone. You know, today when he get you know, and I said, I I ain't gonna be on the phone talking to the phone man. Is that like the gas man? Yeah. <laughs> I said, No. Nah. Cable. And guy. she said, No, he's gonna be here you know, in in the house. You know, I said, Well, okay, mm-hmm. I may I may I may talk to him then. But he didn't show up. <laughs> He probably called first. Well, hey, no, hey. The phone to confirm don't work. the appointment. The, the <laughs> phone don't work. <laughs> and he ain't got a cell phone. <laughs> no. Them Look, plus hey, him. Phones do not work for me. Well, let me tell you why. Because well, every, every time he gets a robo call, he's like, yep, that's what I thought. He picks it up. He's like, boom. Yeah. And so now the phone's not working and he's surprised. Oh, no. I'm an official robo killer. And Van now phone okay, killer. Look, We're going to have you, to get smoke signals to I get in I give you 1001, 1002. Do you think they if have I pigeons? Say, if I say hello, you've got two seconds to answer me. Hey, state, your, don't hang up. state your case. <laughs> you better state your case. Don't hang up. All right. It's gone. I think we should train a bird. To hey. carry notes pigeon. from Duck pigeon. Commander hey, to his house. Eagle the pigeon. That's right. No, bring but like him, a cooler bird back. than that, like a hawk. Hold on. Ah. Hey. No, I sound hey, like a lot he, of work. Eagle, eagle is like a hawk. He can see 360. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we could train a bird to go from here to Sai's house and deliver notes? No, hey. rough neighborhood. It'd get shot hey. in training. Hey, that's right. Hey. The stuff he, he got to fly he, over to get oh, there? Oh, no. He's, no. no he's got to go through Balkanville. He'll never make it. No chance. We're going to have to teach him to loop around. <laughs> you got to give him a slip hey, like get, I did. You got to give Balkanville a wide, yeah. a wide bird. Otherwise, you're going to end up on the spit. No. <laughs> I mean. No, that was weird. <laughs> that was weird. I was going home after after a poker game one night. Oh, no. Yeah, and I'm with a fish pond. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Yo, know, and look, <laughs> something comes over just, wow. Yo, know, and it's about treetop high. It's low. Oh, At yeah. Night. I remember this, yeah. At night. And I'm saying, what in the world? I said, I think I just seen a UFO. <laughs> oh, it was to you. No, no. It was unidentified. It was wow. And I said, yo. Know, so hey, I, I what? Somebody was in security, and I said, "Hey, have y'all are y'all doing some stuff at night, the cops?" And he said, "What are you talking about?" And I said, "Hey, other night coming home from it's like two a.m. in the morning, and this stupid thing come flying over low." The cops, uh, and they said, "No, not that we know well." Now, you do, you, know, do so, you know the rest of the story on what it was? Huh? It was you know a Canadian what? goose. No. Huh? What? No, I mean, I don't remember. Yeah, so it was flying over, and it was actually a mosquito dropping mosquito spray. Oh. Okay, and somebody—that's what's wrong with all of us. And somebody in Malkinville shot it down. What? Yeah. Was it a no? No, hey, it was a I, drone. Oh, a drone. No, no. Drone. <laughs> And it scared side. Yeah, of I thought it was yeah. like a p- piloted plane. No, no it was a drone no, that was, was spraying drone. for mosquitoes, and somebody in Bonkerville shot it yeah. down. See, well, I said that about the pigeon. Pigeon yeah. ain't gonna hey. make it. No, you nope. go around nope. I don't know if the pigeon would fly at like ten a.m. Probably be safe. 
Well, no. Ain't none of them going to be up from the <laughs> night before. <laughs> 2 a.m., he in a bind, Jack. Uh, how about that? Look, we wouldn't, we wouldn't Midnight, no. Nope. Problem is, hey. he's asleep at 10 a.m. I, I know. ain't even got he, out of bed. He going to have to sit on a perch for a little bit. <laughs> but hey, no, him. look. I was wondering, we had a, a what they call a European hunt in Wisconsin. Right. Oh, yeah. Now, this was cool. Look, a classic case of no, no, European look, hunts in Wisconsin. Wayne, right? Here's what they, they released. <laughs> have you ever been on a Texas hunt in Germany? Uh, <laughs> they're fun. No, I haven't. Anyway, I'd like to go on a Bacchus hunt they in Spain. they released pheasant, chuckers. Quail. Quail. And pigeons. And then pigeons. Well, found out later, right? Nobody could kill the pigeons. No. They were like. Well, hey, before they released hit. them, though, they pulled some feathers out of their. Their wing. You ever heard of this before? No, no but it tail. sounds mean. <laughs> sounds no, no. Like you're look, opinion, hey, ask me. look. Yeah. We, they had what? They released like uh, what? 500 pheasants, 500 quail, 500 chuckers, and uh, we killed most all of them. Gosh, I might. It was a military Yeah, we hunt. killed up in the 490s on all the pheasants, quail, and chuckers. Hey, I doubt if there was three pigeons killed. Have you seen them? Hey, I too? shot at 10, and I ain't cut a feather on none of them because some, when they come out and it was on top of a hill, they would come down, and it's like saber jets, you know, doing all the maneuvers. Pigeons? Yeah. And then I find out, well, hey, we pull some of the tail feathers out and the wing feathers, and they don't fly right. No, <laughs> they don't fly right. Yeah, they don't fly right. They fly and just, you know. <laughs> But the they there's going to be some people in our comment section no, big no. mad at that. No, no. Hey. Well, you know, it's bad enough y'all shoot them, then you're going to pluck their feathers out. I can well, hear we, well, we, didn't, well, we didn't do it. Shot them. That's what I'm well, talking you about. You couldn't hit them. Yeah. Hey, but I'm telling you, hey, hey I'm guaranteed. Like a, like a pigeon, like New York City. Oh, yeah. yeah like the, sky hey. rat pigeon. Yeah. Pigeon. Yeah. yeah. The woo woo. Yeah. 150 <laughs> mile an hour pigeon. <laughs> 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 The woo woos. <laughs> I said the woo woo. Cut them, boys. Woo woo. Oh, my man said the woo woo. <laughs> At their pigeon commander. Woo woo. Woo woo. Hey, we raised pigeons. Me and Phil did when we was kids. Well, it's wild because every Eagle. pigeon, every pigeon I've shot, been pretty easy to hit. All right, well, no, oh, them wasn't up there. <laughs> no. How many no. pigeons are we shooting? Now they hang around grain elevators oh, they actually, and other stuff hey, with doves. I mean, they're a dove. I'm glad they hang you, out together. I'm glad you brought that up because they actually have pigeon hunts in New York City. They got them out west too. You can go. Oh, no. You can go whack pigeons. Oh yeah. They yeah. call it a pige nato. Yeah. I'm out. Yeah. They do. You they, can't hunt pigeons I, in I'm New pigeons, York City. They shoot City. pigeons in New York City. Uh -oh. well, I don't know. We gotta look it up. Well, my computer hey. broke again. It's trying to work, but I just I can't imagine read that in a newspaper somewhere. In a newspaper. Yeah. This was forty hey. years ago. Then. You can read. Hi, a, a, little, a little bit. A little <laughs> no, bit. I'm kidding. New Everybody York I'm kidding. City. <laughs> you going to get some comments. Pigeon yeah. hunt. Lady. Oh, no, they still typing mad about side plucking feathers from a pigeon. Oh, and I didn't to shoot do it. Him. Hey, they did it. The boys released them. And hey, New York them. consolidated laws. No person shall at any time by any means or in any manner capture, kill, or attempt to capture or kill any homing pigeon. Bing, bing, bing. A homing yeah. pigeon. Homing pigeon. That leaves all the rest of them. You can shoot them. Whack them and stack them. You, Whack them and if, stack if them, If you boys. pulled out a gun to shoot something in New York City, that you'd end up on CNN. <laughs> oh, no, no, if you kill people, human. you're fine. Yeah, they kill them people if all you, the time. If yeah. you kill the pigeon, yeah. if you pull a gun out, you're going to end up on the news. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. yeah. Especially if you got a red hat on. Hey. Oh, Whoa! <laughs> Buckle up for safety, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the duck call room. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, we, we, ah, we've derailed. Yeah, we've derailed. Let's go to break. Let me tell y'all a story. If if you, if you think you're a pretty good shooter like me, mm -hmm. I can hit skeet. I'm pretty good. Well, very good don't go up against Martin, Godwin, Cy, and Stone. Because we were in the back of a boat in the Key West, and they were throwing skeet, but you're doing like this, woo, woo, and you're shooting, all right, trying to hit them. And we said, whoever is does the worst has to pick up every shell. And I was thinking, it ain't going to be me. It was 100% going to be you. The only way it wasn't you is if I got invited. I, it that? took me an hour to pick up all the shells. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, these boys can shoot. I mean, I, I have seen for myself. Size it's their shoot. job. 
I guess so. Yeah, them flying fish fun too. Oh no, I said say. Them flying fish fun. They legit. That's wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I didn't even believe fish. in. Oh, no, he didn't fish. believe me. We're all out on on the Gulf, and I keep saying, God, I can't believe these stupid flying fish are everywhere. You Phil didn't says, believe you in flying about? fish? No. He, well, he told me. I mean, these things were this big, as big as both my hands. Yeah. All right. So he, it's si I said, hey, these things jump up out of the water and they're flying like 300 yards. And I think it was 95% true. I mean, false. And five. Oh, no, no. True. It's, it's true. Oh, I found out it was true. They're God. further and faster than you think. They no, no, and, and bigger what, and bigger. What got me is the seas were pretty calm and the waves wasn't about two foot high. Yeah. Well, they come out on top of the wave when it crested. And fly like 600 yards. Yeah, we shot them. And I'm saying, what in the world? <laughs> Did you pull feathers out of fins off? No, we shot them, and then we'd scoop them up in a dip net, and then send them down there and catch a snapper on them. Oh, yeah. And then bait them. <laughs> yeah, we were, we were getting our own bait. Oh, no, we had one that come we had a We had a man on the bow doing the shooting and a man on the back back there with a net, yeah. and the captain would, would turn and go. <laughs> he'd see the dead body, and you'd yeah. go pick it up. <laughs> and then when you come back in, you put a hook through him, and you drop him down there and catch you a mangrove snapper. No, no, on. look. We're out there and they're going and the captain, nothing went to waste, baby. That that hey, look, we're going to just fine. like you said. And the captain said, "Hey, everybody, look for bodies," because there was a raft. It was it was a one in a rubber boat that was. Oh, sinking. I ain't never been on that part of it. No, no, look. So look, we go by there, you know, and he comes back by, and and everybody said uh, he said, you "See any bodies?" I said, "Nope," but I saw three big fish under that little rubber boat. I said, "Let's troll by it," and hey, by that time, boom. Got one of them big mighty mighties. The green fish. Mighty mighty. Can I just did I hear this story correctly? We saw a boat that was sinking? Oh well it was just it was nobody there. Yeah, I think he's talking about like a wet, raft. Wet foot, no. dry foot defectors from Cuba coming yeah. across the channel. Yeah. Would you rather end up in Texas or Florida though is the real question? <laughs> well, Florida. I'm gonna go Florida. Florida's a retirement state. No, hey, go to Florida. And Disney World's better than Six Flags. A little bit smoother terrain, too. <laughs> I mean, a lot of water, but no rocks yeah, and hey, things that'll poke you. Takes a lot of water to wash away New Orleans. Oh, we're back on the band of heathen. That's right, boys. Right, boys. <laughs> Just like that, we circled all the way back. I was Here we are. In the rain on the pontoon train <laughs> during the hurricane rain. that comes around every June. Which is a lie. They no just had to write that for the song. We had no good. hurricanes I, in June. Mm -mm. We get a hurricane in June. I'm moving. Yeah, it's to time Florida. To, it's time to go. Move that way, I get Florida, just knocked right. out by another hurricane. Yeah, I'm go Florida. Florida. Uh, and a shrimp boat are on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> he just uh, remembered uh, bits oh, and I pieces the of the song. I love the song. That's boy. not nothing new. <laughs> oh, no, that's a good one. I love it. I love it. Song. I'm starting to. Be, I'm starting to now realize why his stories are the way that they are. Yeah. He, he did, just he just patchworks four of them together and makes it all work. the best hey, parts. Yeah. And the old man in the quarters, he turned his head and said, <laughs> "I have no idea." Takes a lot of water to wash away New Orleans. Boy. I don't even know what song we're singing. <laughs> oh, you you like it though? It's a yeah. jam. Uh, yeah, it, it is a good jam. song. Yeah, you have to look up yeah. "Band of Heathens" on Spotify. Yeah, don't, Band don't of pay, Heathens, boy. Yeah, yeah. Sense you paying like five dollars a month or whatever it is. I'll just buy the song like a weirdo. <laughs> um, yeah, I said it. You and Willie. Uh, um, unbelievable. What a day! Sai loves the 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 weirdest pizza. You never guess what he puts on it. I'll judge you. Not fruit. Right. Let's tell them, Sai. Do you put pineapple on pizza? Nope. Thank That's a God. sin. Thank no, it ain't a sin. Mine has got jalapenos. Okay. Fantastic. All right. Pepperoni. The, okay. the best. All kind of cheese. Okay. There you go. Okay. You just then, described the world's then, perfect pizza. Then, okay, a little of the sauce. Okay. And then you brick it. What's wrong with that pizza? To make it crispy. Can you explain to me where we went wrong? Uh, yeah. I mean, what do you oh, have I on? Chicken and dump? I, I'll take a hamburger pizza. Oh, no. Hamburger? Yeah, it's just, just hamburger. hamburger. I mean, I'll eat whatever I've he, told he's this got. Before. Sometimes I really wonder how you fit in in there. Oh, no. I, I, I'm telling you. <laughs> I've told a this hamburger before. hamburger pizza? <laughs> That's you and rest. Carter just getting the same pizza? Yeah. Hold, hold on, like, a glass of milk hold, hold. and some cheese? I'm, <laughs> hey, hold my coffee while I whoop uh, Mark. Are you going to leave here? And, are you, are you going to leave here and go have a go-gurt? Like, I mean, like. That's Hunter. What in the mic off. what in the world? Oh no! <laughs> I've told this before, but hey, there's a restaurant in Germany. Like my Philip, you know Philip. Philip's so fired up. He gonna get home. Alicia got him some dinosaur chicken nuggets made. <laughs> like, is is it's a big Tuesday. The dinosaur nuggets, like, boys. 
I mean, <laughs> no, I will eat the pizza that he gets. I just think it's you, a little bit odd. Oh, no. You just said he eats the weirdest pizza, and you said he likes meat. Uh, he likes pepperoni, jalapeno, and cheese. Jeez. Like, which is fantastic. That's yeah. the most standard I, 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 rig yeah. ever. Oh no, I would never. I mean, yeah. I, I thought you was gonna say he put like little salted fish. I eat oh, one no, of those no, a week. Like, yeah, mm -mm, that's too oh. much to put on a pizza. What? Some people put sardines on them. No. no, I would never do that. Oh no, some people do that. I wouldn't pass it up. Hey. It was two toppings. <laughs> no. Two toppings. Hey, hey. Pepperoni and jalapenos. I mean, I don't even think uh. anybody from Canada would find that weird. That's uh. normal. And they put fake bacon on theirs. <laughs> fake bacon? Oh, it's called oh, ham. Oh, no, you no. mean the Canadian fake bacon? That's, That's called ham. Faking. <laughs> the Canadian bacon or whatever. But so... But but you make a pizza, don't you cook pizza? Yeah, and I'm going to put way more than two toppings on it. Yeah, I like my pizza to barely, the crust to barely be able to hold what I've got on it. Well, how oh, would you like? Like that's it's a limber underneath. I need to hear about Yerman sweet. pizza. No, no, I'll sweet. Say, how would you Tell like us. a 12-inch yep. circle pizza? I'm in on that. That hey, you actually roll up and eat it like a burrito. Mm -hmm. I'm cool with that. Solid. Okay. Just, Have you had a Hot Pocket? Also I, good. And look, I would eat. You'd really I, like them, Phil. I would eat. Three of them. Do they travel well? <laughs> I would eat three of them. A pizza roll? That's a, you put them in your pocket. You eat a th uh, three burrito pizzas? Three of them, 12 inch. It makes me so mad with, that with, you don't weigh hey, with jalapeno. 800 pounds. Yeah. 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 The meat, I'm the still... cheese, and all that. and Oh, oh. <laughs> oh man, not jalapenos on a pizza. Know, you didn't, wouldn't even have to chew them. Okay. They were so good, they would just melt in your mouth and go down your throat. That seems too much. Oh, no, it was. It was out of this world. And then that's him, and then his buddy Phil's everywhere with him. Just, Can we get hamburger? I Can I get hamburger on my pizza? <laughs> what? Mm. That's, Does that one come with a toy? <laughs> yeah. I feel like if you hey, get a hamburger he's pizza. A, Can I just, get the Cracker Jack box with it? I mean, I'll tell you what we ate for the first time ever in Oklahoma. Uh -oh. It's called Ziti. 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 Yeah. Pasta? Ziti, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. First time Ooh. we ever ate it. And look, Ooh. I didn't think I would like it, but it was, it was a great. big container of it, and it was delicious. Man, it was fantastic. Oh, yeah. It was delicious. Uh, not too many flavors in there. Did it have hamburger about, meat? I had about three <laughs> helpings of it. He's like Kevin McAllister <laughs> from Home Alone. He's did like, it have a cheese <laughs> I want a cheese pizza. <laughs> Hold on. I'll get that cheese pizza for you. Did they top <laughs> it? <laughs> did they top it with some dino nuggets? I mean, oh, unbelievable. Dino, you know, dino you are an interesting person and I love you. But the Thank fact you. that you made fun of how Cy eats pizza and then you back it up with. I think it's awkward. I, like I mean, it's a, uh, and, he won't, and he's got to have it bricked and all this stuff. I don't know. I mean, I'll eat it, but he's a medium my, plus steak. Not man. my He's preference. got high priorities on his food. Yeah, you don't think his pizza ain't gonna go in there for an extra five minutes? <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, well, it's not gonna be doughy. Yeah, I if he's gonna burn his steak. He's dang sure gonna burn hey, his pizza. Hey. Oh, it ain't burnt, <laughs> but it is fine. <laughs> he said, "I'll have a jalapeno and cheese and pepperoni pizza." You could cook medium plus, boy. It's like a frisbee. You could take it and chunk it. Just, that sounds delicious. Absolutely. Right. But let's not let's. That's why they need to make it pizza. But they need to make it as a boomerang, where I can just get it, throw it, and it's all right. <laughs> Wham! That sounds amazing. It comes back to you. That's like one of my dreams. Oh no! Oh, like you could throw hey, a pizza hey, and it comes back. Boomerang pizza. I just always. I'd be pizza. so scared to throw it. Oh, I wouldn't. I I would eat pizza just, for every meal just if I could. Smack, and, boys. And yes. at, uh, at the basis of that rule of I have to eat pizza for every meal, I would never eat a hamburger pizza. Hey. Ever. Just think about it. No, give me one of them that's got like face. the scrambled eggs and sausage and bacon in your on it face. you give me the freaking. <laughs> oh, I don't believe y'all. I don't believe y'all. You would eat the hamburger pizza so fast to make your head spin. But I, hold on. Well, first I, off, I, I'm not hold turning on, down Hold on, y'all hadn't too many pizzas. I'm going to tell y'all that right now. <laughs> oh, y'all oh, don't. Y'all don't. Was, no, I would, if there was one in hey, here, I'd smash it. I'd smash it right now. Y'all push the panic button on this fat boy. I just wouldn't order it. Yeah. No, I've oh. never turned down pizza. Oh. I don't care if it's the most garbage pizza ever. It's still pizza. I like it. Yeah. I can't believe you two fat boys would pick on the other fat boy. <laughs> I'm like, that's a hey. backhanded compliment to me. Hey. Y'all leave at the least boy I'm alone. Not, at least I'm not tall. Hey, y'all leave the boy alone. Hey, Pudgy. <laughs> You're getting a little older. And <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey you better you, watch it there, big guy. Look down there and see <laughs> your, why don't you look down there and hey, see your belt? Hey, look, we oh, 75 years to get this little punch. It don't matter. And I'm proud of it, buddy. It don't matter. The rest of us are just overachievers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just started early. You yeah. ain't too much. 
Hey, Push when, away from the table. Hey, when we start reading ads for Ozempic, you can just say thank you. Okay? All right. Let's take a break. We'll be back. No, don't right take a break. <laughs> You're gross. You're eat. having a suitcase. I'll eat anything. Uh, I just take it I home. really don't like pizza. <laughs> oh, I'll God. eat it because I'm fat and I, I'm like that, but uh, I'm big and I'm fat. And that's that. Back me up, son. Uh, I don't know that song, but I always I just made it up. <laughs> house real big, car's real big, belly real big. Let me tell you how I live. Um, oh. Anybody ready? <laughs> I guess. Is that a real song? I think that's a good segue. Right that was there. Manny I Fresh. You don't know no I Manny hope, Fresh? Uh-uh. I hope he like that, that, buy that, 20 fools, ride that. Then it gets kind of dirty. Oh, no, <laughs> never heard it. That's why it's not on my playlist. Yeah, if, it if shouldn't it's not, be. Yard run. And if it ever gets on your playlist, make hey, sure it's the radio like version. She's a Kendall. Manny Fresh is most assuredly a man oh, from New oh, Orleans. Oh, okay. But he he could be hello at duckcallroom dot com. <laughs> That's the email Let's address. Let's go to mailbox, John J W. <laughs> uh, Johnny D said before we started that he has the greatest email we've ever gotten. I which forgot he made, about that. He made oh. that claim a few weeks ago too. So this one, it's a good well, one. Well, no, that one. But I want to start funniest. here. Yeah, I can't wait. David uh, and Karen from Huntsville, Alabama. I don't have the photo, but in this photo, Willie looks tiny <laughs> compared to Justin. That that would be you. Is oh, this an that's optical yesterday. illusion? That's yesterday, I bet. What? But you're way bigger than Willie. Yeah. So it's not an optical illusion. No, it kind of is because it's a weird. Where is that? But Willie's what, like five ten, and you're what six four? Yeah, but see, big dog, that's half a foot. Like, I mean, I oh yeah, I, I, he's shrinking or something. Yeah. <gasps> well, no, he looks short compared to Martin. Martin Hold on, is Martin Willie looks like shrinking? a giant. In other because words, the boy's wasting a weight. Well, no, you're shorter Again. than you. How tall are you? No, he's 6'3". Doing... You're 6'3". Stand up yeah. real quick. Uh, he's not 6'3 anymore. Yeah, I am. 6'2", mm, baby. Well, you used to straight, be 6'3". I used to be over. <laughs> Get up, oh, si. Stand up, hey. Get up, si. Hey, he's got it on his tiptoes, boy. Hey. I'm not on my tiptoes. I'm just saying <laughs> at, there's an age in which people's I don't know. I think they're... Well, my wife told me, hey, she said I'm not 6'3". Uh, you know, you're not. You're not. She said I've shrunk. You, that happens. Yes, sir. Can I help you? Can I help you? Is, that a, why you're is Willie now? to the age where he's shrinking? Now? I think so. Yeah. Hey, no, he's not. Driver, he does, no, 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 no. He my is driver's shrinking. license says I'm six. I think he's getting shorter, and he suspiciously had on a vest yesterday. I saw oh. the vest. I tried not to make fun oh, of it. Oh, he's got the Al syndrome. <laughs> he clearly uh, went shopping he, at Al's house. But he he came up to Jared, <laughs> our cameraman that works for Duck Commander, and <laughs> said, "Ooh, a little healthy there, aren't you?" And Jared said. Well, yeah, you see me with a vest on. I wonder where I got that from. <laughs> hey, Willie, it's Philip. These boys in here talking about you. Right. No, right. talking about you, boss. No, I'm just curious if he's my, like my dad. Not as tall as he. He used to seemed be. he seemed shorter. I'm not as tall as I once was. And I don't know. I mean, I don't. But I don't. You know, I don't spend a lot of time around him now, so I don't know. It happens. Nobody yeah. does. No, no. <laughs> He's an enigma. The boy's out of town all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen him in a few years. Yeah, we had a Facebook Live deal to do yesterday where we were cooking. <laughs> you made him? How's he doing? Huh? You met him again? <laughs> Who, you know? Willie? Yeah. He showed up like one minute after we were supposed to start with an apron on that he put on from the golf course. <laughs> Some he people are living in And then, then they, we started the Live, and he said, I've been cooking and prepping all day. And, I, of course, it's live, so I can't say nothing. But I'm like, <laughs> I don't. big dog. I've been cooking for five hours. Big dog. Big dog. And you just come up in here, just you just roll up in here and do what Willie does. I can appreciate it. That's unusual for him. He's very good at it. Oh, he was so good at it. He was he owned it and I was like, ain't nothing I can say about it. But All right, are you I ready? mean you like your job. No, I do love my job. And I love him as a person. It just is so funny. He's like, well, yeah, well, three minutes ago, I was putting for a lot of money. Hey, I said, Martin, did you make all, it? And he's all, like, no. No, he, no chance he this. made a putt for money. No. Always remember this. If you got the wrong Excuse last me. name, you need to keep your bags packed. I told you that the before bear, we got started. The bear's coming out. <laughs> I, told, I told him. That. Yeah, what next? <laughs> yeah. Well, who's ready for the best one we've had in a long, long time? Fire away. Hey. Mishap from Uncle Si. Uh-oh. I'm glad my computer doesn't work so he can't read these ahead of time. Oh, good. I took Uncle Si's advice on Vicks Vapor Rub for my hemorrhoids. Oh, no, no. Keep, go the next one. Wisdom. Oh. Mm. Well, when I... Re- oh, oh, it gets better. Well, when I reached under the bathroom counter to grab the jar, didn't look at the label. Uh-uh. 
Yeah. What could this be? And it is. I've gotten lots of questions now about what he keeps under his bathroom counter. I see. This is getting better. Yeah. It ended up being a jar of Shaquille O'Neal's favorite, Icy Hot. Goes on hot to (laughs) soothe the pain and cools off later. This ain't circle size, Miss Epp. And when I I applied it. Oh, it gets worse. I got a little too far forward. Oh, he got up in the. the, Oh. Well, I can't say it. In about 10 minutes, I had to call the ER to go. Oh, God. (laughs) No, this can't be true. Uh, You'd have to ask Ryan. They thought, and then it ends with the thing about Tommy John's that I don't really understand, but I think we need to, like, stop and say a prayer for this man. First of all. Also, open your eyes. And you shouldn't be drinking while you're treating hemorrhoids. Yeah. (laughs) First of all, how'd you miss? (laughs) Hey, maybe his hand. Was, <laughs> no, maybe his hand was numb. Maybe he like, numbed his hand, how, so he was just like. I'm just curious. How'd you miss? Like that's a very, a very defined area. Like, no, he forgot the first rule. I didn't know there were rules. Well, yeah, I don't know how many never, rules are there? Oh, no, there's yeah, a first hey, one. There's a rule in this. Okay, you never preface this with rules. Hey, engage your brain before you attempt any of this. I think it's funny you had your finger up when you did that. <laughs> well, I'm just telling you. Hey, no. So, si, give us a demonstration. If I no, it's no. okay. No. <laughs> how that, do you? That mishap business is a bunch of bunk. <laughs> Think this, you did was, it on purpose? this was okay. Somebody made a mistake. Like time out. So I got a question for you. Yeah. Is there a big difference between Vicks Vapor Rub and Icy Hot? Got oh it. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Have you tried Icy Hot? Uh, no, I ain't gonna fool with Icy Hot. <laughs> well, how you know these? Hey, hey, I've watched the commercial. I mean, they're both menthol bags. Hey, look, right? that big man. He hey. puts it on his shoulders, then he runs down and dunks a, a, a basketball. And Shaquille tears, O'Neal tears the whole board down. You reckon this guy took off running after he put the wrong oh, stuff I on there? He took off running when he did. Hey, no, he didn't. He took off to the ER. Hey, especially since he got it a little too far. How you want to tell that story when you roll up to the ER? <laughs> hey, yeah, what I happened? bet they're like, yeah, we've heard that hey, one before. Well, hey, just, it's just started. Started. fell and landed that way. Hey, look, okay, but hey, the judge could sing their song for him. Uh-oh. Grandpa, tell me about the good old days. Why is your grandpa involved in this mess? <laughs> hey, hey. And how were they good old days? Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, what? I'm just, I'm still, okay, so you grabbed the wrong container. Right. No, there's no. That's weird enough. No, there's no coming back from this. He I just, just charged me with a mishap. So I was thinking okay. about this song. Fire. <laughs> no, free falling. <laughs> mm, gross. I, I just <laughs> can't don't, take I it no more. I can get over the missed product. I can't get over the missed shot. Hey. Like, I just got That's a problem. That's a layup. Hey. Oh, a dunk. hey, speaking about that, I mean, give me your best shot. Oh. That goes with this. I mean, oh. it ain't a duck. It's not a moving target. <laughs> it's there. Have you ever missed a golf ball? That ain't moving either. Yeah. Just never forward. I always hit it fat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ever hit one thing. I hope this guy's not a dentist, you know? Or some kind of doctor that has to use his hands for something. Hey, bro. This guy was like. Hold on. Time out. Hey, hold on. Time out. You got to hit it. You got to hit it just right. Listen, if you're taking Uncle (laughs) Si's hemorrhoid cream advice, you are not a learned doctor. (laughs) That is confirmed. You are not. If you're listening to this podcast, probably not an educated person. No offense to those that are listening. Oh, you're as bad as that guy is on on his (laughs) mishap. Ain't nobody that's a learned doctor. You don't go to school for eight years to put Vicks paper rub on your butt. Hey, look. Don't knock it unless you tried it, okay? Well, this guy did try it and missed. Uh, Yeah. Well, hey. He didn't try the right product. It's Vitz Vapor, not Icy Hot. So, Si, do you go around the corner or from down front? Oh, nope. All right. <laughs> All right. There needs to be no instructions. I how he got too far oh, forward. Oh, look. I got, I got very good aim. There's no instructions. Okay, on. I'm not going to miss. I have literally no idea how to transition out of this one. <laughs> well, you, usually you read I've the got instructions. Ready to. This I, didn't I have instructions. To, look, <laughs> hey. I don't know. Go to the Bible and give us a verse. We're going to pray for this man. Yeah, something about oh. hot and cold. What you got? He'll <laughs> right, right. spit you out your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no focus. This needs to be about focus. If you're lukewarm, you're out of here, mm-hmm. boy. All right, baby. Oh. That wasn't even my verse because I, I have a really serious one, and I don't know how to get there. You're not going to get there. 
<laughs> Look, Tim, I read your email. I know what you're going through uh, and your family's going through. That, we're just going to leave it at that. We can't get too deep right now, but we will be praying for you, Tim. And on that note, Psalms 103, 2 and 3, praise the Lord my soul and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Tim, they're in the right place. It's going to be all right. It's scary as crap. Martin knows it. I know it. But we're rooting for you. Oh, yeah. We love you, man. We'll see y'all next time right here on the Duck Call Room. Don't miss.